What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. So I'm gonna show you today how to get your shoulders growing again fast. And I promise you, if you do exactly what I show you, it's gonna work for every single person that tries it. The issue is, your shoulders don't grow maybe as fast as you want them to, because you're doing a couple things wrong. Number one, you're not training your rear delt enough. And when we talk about shoulders, especially that front to back depth, the rear delt is a large component, not just a little bit of a component, a large component of what we're talking about. Anatomically, I was blessed with a couple freckles here that work as some landmarks. I want to show you something. If I were to go in this position here, this freckle is sort of towards the front line of my mid-delt. Here's the split of the mid-delt. And this freckle back here is almost at about an inch ahead of the back side of my rear delt. You can see when you look from the side, this is the front delt right here. The whole rest of the shoulder the massing of it comes from the middle and the rear delt. So if we can get an exercise that would allow us to build that, we'd be doing good for ourselves. The second thing is, we don't necessarily train the rear delt when we do heavy enough because it's capable of handling heavier loads. And when we do that, that's when the magic happens. So here's what we do. We grab a set of dumbbells on the ground, kneeling. Now you can do this standing, but the benefit of doing the kneeling position is that you get away from some of the momentum you might use from your lower body to do this. I want to load this exercise a little bit heavier, but make sure that the rear delt and the mid delt are doing all the work. So I get in this position here, and I grab my dumbbells, and I'm in this kneeling position. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's called a hip hugger. I'm going to drag the dumbbells up towards my hips, but at the same time, the key for me is to get my elbows back behind my body as far as I can go. Extension of the arm at the shoulder is what drives the rear delt engagement. The higher up into extension I get, the more that rear delt I get. Okay, now the second thing I know I need to have for that mid delt is we need some abduction of the elbow away from the body. So I want to be able to get that out and abduct the, the arm away from my body as much as I can. But it's driven by the motion backwards. Because if I stay in the front plane here, the frontal plane, or if I go even a little bit forward, what I do is I turn this into almost a kneeling upright row, which is no less shitty than the standing upright row. So what I do is I get here, and I, that would be a bad position. So if I actually were to do this and be able to stare down from my side here, stare in this direction, and see my elbows in front of my body, I'm not doing it right. right? They're too far in front. That's abduction without the extension of the arm. If the elbow stays back behind my body like it should, and I look to the left, I can't see my elbow. Okay, I can't see any of that. So that's what you want to look for. Peek that way and see if you can see your elbow. So I get in this position here. I'm going to drive it into extension and then get the abduction at the shoulder as well. Here, up, and there. Up into extension and then that abduction. Extension and abduction. I get that good squeeze. Now, the weights I'm using here are kind of tweener weights. They're not the real light weights that people use for rear delts. They're not super heavy like you would be using for, let's say, an overhead press or a dumbbell press. We're not replacing the need for those weights. We're complementing them. And when you do that, that's when the real magic happens. Now, let's say I want to finish this off and I want to get more of the front delt here because I can benefit from adding that in. The same weight will work in a drop set or let's say a 30 second rest after the first set to go right into something we call a scoop press. And from the scoop press, I just get in this position here, elbows down, locked in place 90 degrees, scoop it underneath and press. Down, scoop, press. Here, scoop and press. I'm not curling, just back, scoop and press. Good stretch on the front delt at the bottom here. Up, scoop the elbows underneath, drive them up at the top. And again, as long as you avoid bringing them out in front of your body here, you'll get away from that internal rotation, upright row position, and more into that external rotation, almost high pull position. Guys, give this a try, and I promise you, it will work to help you to build bigger shoulders. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step plan where we build an entire athletic body from the ground up, head to athletics.com, check out our programs. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, Leave your comments and thumbs up below. Make sure you click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys. See you soon.